In the latest version of Android, things have changed slightly as to exactly how we access in Kotlin elements from our view. Um, if you remember from literally any series from like 2018, 2019, 20, uh, 2020, um, we all accessed the views a certain way, but in this video, we're actually gonna do it slightly different. So give me a second. Uh, let's go ahead and open up our main activity, or rather our activity, main.xml. And if we go to design mode here, um, if we just select, say the chat now button, it has an ID of button. We used to be able to just go inside of main activity and be able to type whatever that was. So we had there yeah, button. We should be able, we used to be able to just type button and get access to that, but we can't do that. Uh, actually, well, there's um, a better way to do that. And later we may get into uh, different ways of doing this, but for now, let's do it this way. So I just took some notes and I'll paste these into the description. A couple of things we need to do, and this is just basically uh, basically from the documentation, but to actually be able to access our elements and say, uh, when somebody clicks on the chat now button, we actually validate the email address or a password or something. Let's go into, um, uh, we can just copy, you could almost copy it, but we'll just type it out. Just actually, I will copy it, but you can type this out also. Uh, so first thing we need to set up, this is the build feature. So if we go inside of our Gradle scripts, make sure you have Android set there. And there are a couple of them. There's a project one, but we want the build.gradle for our module and open that up and actually just type that just to test it out. But um, look for Android and uh, inside of this bracket, anywhere in between the yellow basically, but I'll just gonna put it right here for now. We could just type it out, you know, build features, and I haven't synced that, so type build features there, and we need view binding true. So view binding, am I out of complete for us? Um, binding true, there we go. So that sets it up for us. And um, you may need to sync Gradle. There's the sync button somewhere, or can do it. Usually has the dialog, but I think I haven't synced since the last time. But we can actually click that button right there. Uh, sync projects with Gradle files, and that'll actually sync. Actually, we may actually probably just a clean. But anyways, um, that'll work for now. So, and it, it will actually do that when we run it. Uh, so that is done. So now if we go back inside of main activity, we still have our IDF button there. Um, actually, that didn't change, but we still can't exactly just go like button and get access to it. We a couple more things we need to do. Um, when we en enable that in our module, uh, Gradle, build.gradle module, it actually kind of generates a class for us, uh, activity main binding. And if we were to go inside here, uh, activity main binding, uh, that generates this class for us. Um, so now we have access to this. And this is kind of our class that actually gives us access to actually control um, our password and email and make sure it's a good password and to do something when you click the chat now where we should change it to a login button. Um, so let's go ahead and write some Kotlin code. I'm just gonna put some space there. And right after this class line, just make a couple of enters. And let's go ahead and uh, I'm just gonna, actually I'll type it out. Um, yeah, I'll just type it out just cause y'all gonna be typing it out and oh, like me. So do private, late, init, we'll call this binding. And actually we do binding. Uh, uh, activity main binding. And I'll explain what this does. This is our variable binding. Um, and how to explain this. This is our class name. Without going too much into detail, for all of this class, we'll have access to binding. And when we type down here, binding dot something, when you put that, as soon as we put that dot there, that gives us access to our elements. So we have the button, we have the email address and the password, but that's not gonna work quite yet. Um, we actually have to um, almost inflate this. So uh, I just copied this again from the documentation. This is the easiest example to get things working. 
uh, binding equals, we need to basically inflate it. And I could copy it, but I'm gonna type it out because that's what we're gonna be doing. Binding equals, and then it was uh, activity main binding dot should be actually inflate, I think. Uh, then we'll just pass in uh, layout inflator. And again, I'll just paste this in the notes. So you can actually copy and paste it. Uh, I guess I could have pasted it. Anyways, so with that, um, we do have our set content view up there. And I'm actually going to uh, comment that out. And let's do this. Binding, uh, make some space there. Um, I'll put that right there. Binding dot, and then we have access to a button. And as soon as you put the button, it'll actually autocomplete. And if you click away and you don't have that, do you, you don't have that anymore, you can always do uh, control space. And that will actually pop up the prompt for us. Select button, we'll do text equals login. Gonna save that and run it. And there's a keyboard shortcut to run it, which I'll use often. And so let's just see what happens here. Will this crash? Will this work? I know in the 2020 series, a lot of people were having problems. Uh, so here is our app. But if you notice, there's actually no layout. So what is actually going on? We still need set content view, but it's gonna be a little bit different. So instead of actually passing in our layout there like that, and we'll delete that in just a second, we'll do this. We'll do set content, uh, content view, and again, it's gonna prompt for us. Then we'll do binding. Uh, then whenever you're kind of in doubt, or if you need to type something, put a dot, and I think we need root there. So go ahead and save that. And then I'm going to actually delete that line save it and then we'll run it again and let's just see if something will appear here and i bet it will and there is our layout so we still need the set content view but we're not actually passing in our xml layout like we did before and that is our uh the layout the layout folder uh activity main dot xml the dot, the, the dot xml doesn't actually need to be there so and if you'll notice Look at our text there, it's login. So we successfully actually uh, accessed elements from our view. So uh, before and again in the 2020 series, we could just type uh, button dot. We can't do that anymore, or there's uh, there are better ways of doing this. This is one solution that works. And this allows to access anything we want inside of the layout. So say we want to access something in the email that's called whatever that's called. The ID there is edit text email. We can just go down here and start typing edit text, actually, sorry, uh, binding dot edit text. Uh, we can do email address and then put a dot there and we can actually access stuff. And again, there's lots to put there. We'll just do text equals, uh, then we'll do Daniel at, actually that's, we need something else there. Um, we could do dot string, but you get the idea. We actually could do this. We could do dot like uh, on click. Actually what's, what we'll do in just a second is we'll actually do this. We'll do, oh, we'll end the video in just a second, but just to prove something we'll do, Binding dot button dot set on click listener, and we'll do it this way really quickly. Uh, select the brackets there, and I'm going to go ahead and move that line up inside of there. And what this will do is when we click on the button, it'll change the text to login. Again, pretty useless, but this will uh, prove that we can actually access and control elements inside of our layout. It says chat now and say you enter in your email address and password and you wanna to go to the next screen. You actually wanna do something, um, you could click the hypothetical login button and it does something. So I'm gonna click chat now and it changes it to login. So when we clicked on it, changed it to login. This is how you access elements from your XML layout. Again, uh, set up in the, in the module, set up build features. 
uh, add your variable at the top of main act activity, uh, main activity uh, it generates a new class for us and we can set that up just like that. And from here on, instead of on create, we can just do binding dot and then whatever the name of our element ID is, password, etc. cetera. You get the idea. This is how you do it in 2021, at least one of the ways. <laughs>